What's up, Waxy? It's your girl, Ree, and I'm back with another video. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're a new subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the BMP gang, period. Y'all, by the time y'all are watching this, we have officially hit 1K. I just, before we really get into this video, I just want to thank y'all so much. I could not do this without y'all. I've been doing YouTube for three years. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber and I just never thought that I could do it. I just started being consistent this year and it's been paying off so much. I just been praying to God, telling him everything I want, everything I want to achieve. And I just been putting in the work and he been handling the rest. The me three years ago, never thought I could reach 1K. I never thought I could be here. We gonna continue to grow, continue to find ourselves, inspire and help others. Like, I just can't wait to see where my channel is gonna be a year from now. So yeah, y'all, I'm just, I'm ecstatic, I'm excited. I just can't wait, I really can't wait. So the tea y'all been waiting for, I've been telling y'all on TikTok that I was going to make this video for y'all. I'm, I'm here, now we here, I'ma sit down, I'ma tell y'all the tea. Quick little backstory, I was telling y'all earlier, I was stuck at 300, I, I forgot the exact number. Between January and April, I was stuck in the 300s and I just couldn't get my channel to grow. I was posting and I just I just couldn't get my channel to grow. I, I don't know what I was doing wrong. I kept seeing people start their YouTube channels after me and they platform just blew up and they just got to 1K so fast and got monetized so fast. And I kept thinking like, bro, what, what what am I doing? Like, what am I doing wrong? What am I missing? I just sat down one day and I'm like, I got to change my strategies. I got to do something different. Like, something got to give. Because I'm posting videos and it's just not, it's not, it's not my channel just not growing like I wanted to. So, we're going to try something new. We're going to go with a new strategy. And so, I just created my whole different strategy and we started to do that. The first thing before you start a YouTube channel is the planning part. You just got to sit down and just think about what you want to do, whether you want to do sit down videos or whether you want to do vlogs. This is one of the biggest misconceptions about YouTube. Like a lot of YouTubers that already, they're already monetized and already made it. They make these videos and the first thing they say is, oh, you need a niche. You need to find out what your channel is going to be about. You need to pick a theme and, and stick to it and da 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 No. No. When you first create a YouTube channel, a lot of YouTubers telling you, if you're going to do wig installs, stick to wig installs. If you're going to do sit down videos, stick to sit down videos. If you're going to do vlogs, stick to vlogs. My advice is when you when you first start and you make your channel and you, you sitting there and you thinking like, okay, what am I going to do? Personally, create all the videos any video that you see that's interesting anything that you you feel in your mind is like this is kind of cool this is kind of interesting i want to do this do it if you're sitting here and you're trying to find a niche before you get started with your channel then you're never going to start a lot of people will tell you oh i want to start a channel but i don't know what to do i don't know what that's because people on youtube are telling you that you have to know what you're doing before you get into it and you don't have to get into youtube Post all the videos, make all the content you want, and you will naturally find your niche. My very first video has 58K, I believe, views on there. And I was pretty much talking about this app that allows you to flip from the front camera to the back camera. And, you know, go go go, go watch that video, check out that video. That did numbers. That doesn't mean that was my niche. I did sit-down vlogs. I did a couple what's on my iPhone. I did wig installs. I did vlogs. I did Sunday resets. Like, I did so many different videos just to kind of get a gist of what my viewers want to see or what my subscribers want to see. You know, try different things. It's trial and error. YouTube is all trial and error. Next thing is equipment. A lot of people are like, I can't start YouTube. Like, I want to start YouTube, but I don't have a camera. I don't have this or I don't have that. First thing I'm going to say, your iPhone. Your iPhone is usable. You can use your iPhone. It is okay to use your iPhone for YouTube videos. My first couple videos, if y'all go back and look, or you're probably not going to know what I was recording on, but my first couple videos were recorded on iPhones. The only reason why I upgraded to a camera because my camera was bought for me. Personally, if... If my camera wasn't bought for me, I probably still would have been using my iPhone. And right now, I currently have the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is one of the newer phones. So, I would still be recording on my phone right now if I wasn't, if a camera wasn't bought for me. You do not need a camera. Especially if you have the latest phone, you got the 15 or you got the 14 or the 13 or even the 12. The 12 still has good camera quality. So, there's nothing wrong with having an iPhone. I know... Everybody want a camera. You see other YouTubers walking around with a camera and so you want a camera. If you can afford to buy a camera right off the rip, 
go ahead and do it but if you know it's gonna be a bit of a stretch for you hold off just wait use your iphone until you feel like okay i want to upgrade to a camera another thing is a lot of times people think they want to start youtube and then when they get into it they stop being consistent so you don't want to buy a camera and then you're not like consistent so i would advise you to use your phone for as long as you can use your phone until you really realize like i really love this youtube stuff i'm gonna be consistent i'm gonna be posting videos so i'm gonna get me a camera if you're not gonna be consistent then it's pointless now you done bought a camera and it's literally sitting there catching dust and cobwebs you don't need a camera next thing we're gonna talk about tips and things that i personally did to grow my channel i know y'all probably tired of hearing this like i know i know consistency is key nobody knows you nobody knows who you are so you have to make them aware a lot of us are doing youtube channels and we don't have the following base from other social medias to bring over to youtube so we have to be consistent we have to cons constantly be making videos so that youtube can push your videos out to new people a lot of people that have a lot of subscribers on youtube or just blew up really fast on youtube their following base or their subscriber base probably came from instagram or tiktok or just twitter or just other social media platforms that they have followers on so if you don't have that following base from instagram or tiktok or twitter you're gonna have to work 10 times harder than everybody else another thing me personally i know everybody said make a schedule but for me personally a schedule does not work but if you try out a schedule and you see that a schedule works for you then that's cool go with a schedule the reason why i don't do a schedule is because when i first um started being consistent i was like okay let's make a schedule let's post every monday wednesday and friday and i noticed that if a friday came around and i didn't get to post it just made me mad it made me depressed because i'm like oh my gosh i'm supposed to be sticking to my schedule i'm supposed to be sticking to my schedule so you get discouraged and then that also makes you not want to you know you're just like oh forget it i'm just forget it if i say i'm gonna post today and i don't post today like my mood is just kind of ruined and it's just kind of thrown off so I personally don't make a schedule. A lot of YouTubers use a schedule because obviously like they're full-time content creators and whatever. And most of them, that's all they do. They don't go to school. They don't have a job. So they kind of just create a calendar or a schedule to kind of keep themselves together. Full-time YouTubers, they're home all the time. Like content creating is all they do. So of course they could put themselves on a schedule and stick to it because this is their full-time job. I kind of just set monthly goals like i want to produce 10 videos for the month or i want to push out 10 videos for the month and that's just it i don't set myself to post every monday wednesday friday or every tuesday and thursday or every weekend or every other weekend i just tell myself post whenever you want to post just make sure you get your 10 videos done just make sure you get your 10 videos for the month of course some months are busier than others some months you don't get to post your 10 videos, but as long as you know that you're working hard, you're creating content, you're trying to be consistent, then that's all that matters. Another thing that's going to help your channel to grow is that you have to be consistent on other platforms like TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, whatever other outside platforms you have, you have to also promote on there because again, like I said, if you're not known, you kind of just have to bring in the people. Like you have to go recruit people, you have to go grab people, bring in the people. When you got time, say you are off every weekend or every other weekend whenever you off whenever you have time sit down and just make a whole bunch of reels make a whole bunch of like you are your own marketing team you don't have somebody that's making flyers for you you don't have somebody that's making reels instagram reels for you and posting it to their account like you don't have that kind of thing so you're your own marketing agent so you have to come up with exciting ways to get your channel out there make reels make cute tiktok videos promoting your channel do the in the cut with my twin we be i don't know just do trendy things that's gonna promote your channel like you know pov i'm watching my favorite youtuber and it's you you have to promote your videos in different ways you have to come up with so many creative ways of promoting your videos and getting people to know that you are a youtuber so even when we're not on youtube even when we're not posting a video i mean of course we post a video and then we dip but when you dip, make sure when you go back to TikTok or you go back to Instagram, make sure you have a real to post. Those tips are one of like the biggest things that help my channel to and grow. consistency, now we're going to go to tunnel vision slash how I stay mentally focused on YouTube. YouTube is just as mental as it is physical. It's not just about doing the physical work, physically sitting behind a camera and making content. 
physically getting your iPad or your MacBook and sitting down and editing video videos. It's not just physical, physical, physical. It's also mental. You're gonna have those people who don't like your videos. They're gonna get underneath your videos and they're gonna troll. They're gonna say disrespectful things. They're gonna say things that might hurt your feelings and get you sad or get you discouraged. But you gotta build your mental focus. You have to build your mind so that when people say things, you just either remove their comment and block them or you just let it sit there and just ignore it. You just always gonna have those negative Nancys that's just gonna always talk about something. So you have to be mentally strong. You have to be prepared for the negative comments. One thing about being a content creator, it's not all peaches and sunshine all the time. Like, you get talked about. Even Jaden, Ari and them, they up there, they making money. And they still get talked about on the daily. Like everybody's going to talk about you in some way, shape or form, whether positive, whether negative, and you have to have that mental capacity to deal with that type of stuff. You must focus on your own growth. You can't watch how fast other people's channels are growing because that's definitely the easiest way to knock you out the game, get you distracted and get you discouraged. You cannot watch how fast somebody else's channel is going. Like when you get in that phase where you decide like, okay, I'm going to really lock in with myself. I'm going to really do YouTube for real. I'm going to really be consistent. Just go for it. Just be all in and be consistent. And don't peek over at your neighbor trying to see how fast they channel grown because that will get you discouraged. Summer, I remember this past summer, we was doing, everybody on TikTok was doing a YouTube, like YouTube follow train. Everybody watching everybody's channel. Everybody trying to help everybody grow. And I would literally see people that would join youtube like they literally made a youtube channel this summer and they already monetized but you can't watch that you can't just be like girl you just got on youtube like how did you already done okay so i think the last thing i remember telling y'all was you know just being tunnel vision like being in your own lane watching your own growth not watching the growth of others and stuff like that just focusing on yourself even if the growth coming slow just focus on yourself. What y'all really came here for is these promo cards. Y'all been asking me all day, left and right, all on TikTok. And it's the business cards, the promo cards. Y'all see me make day in my life videos, like little short mini day in my life videos on TikTok. If you follow me on TikTok, then you know. And I'll just stick them all over on campus. Um, how to get the business cards. Literally, y'all, you have to, like, I just want to say this. Having a business, having a YouTube channel, whatever you want to do, you have to be able to put in the work. You have to want it so bad to the point where you're able to go to whatever extent you need to go to to find the resources to help you, to put your business in a position to succeed, to put your channel in a position to, to succeed. Research. You have to be your own, own resource. When I first got into like doing YouTube and just having a business period, I used to always DM people and ask them questions about stuff. Some people will read my message and they won't respond. Some people won't respond at all. They won't even and read it or open my message and I used to think like dang like people are so harsh like people are so mean and it's like no that is literally the harsh reality of having a business you have to research everything for yourself nobody's gonna give you like free information I mean I'm giving free information right now but I'm just giving y'all the resources to go find what you need to find I can't spoon feed you everything because I done put in blood sweat and tears for my channel to be where it's at so you got to understand that like when people say no or when people ignore you or people read your message message and they don't respond it's because they have literally went through hell to bring their channel or their business or whatever it is to where it's at now so they're not going to just give out free information like that i feel like you're trying you putting in the effort you want to start a channel but you genuinely don't know how it don't matter if it takes you three months it don't matter if it, it takes you six months you have to do the background work you have to do the background work. And then that's just the truth. Like, that's just the truth. I'm going to be real with y'all. Content creating is you going to have to spend some money to make some money. You're going to have to pay people to create flyers for you. You're you going to have to spend the money. Like, you're going to have to spend money to make money. With that being said, the business cards, you can literally go on Instagram, type in graphic designers, type in digital designers or digital... Um, creators or whatever the case may be there's literally thousands of people on instagram that make thumbnails banners business cards like they're everywhere they're all over instagram they're all over tiktok hit one of them up go on their instagram page look at their work if you like their work hit them up hey i would like to know the price most people already have their pricing on their page but hey i would like to know how much it is to get a pack of 100 business cards and you just talk to the person on instagram y'all negotiate y'all talk y'all confirm whatever colors you want what, what whatever you want your business cards to look like 
communicate that to the individual they'll do them and they'll ship them now, to you we are at editing software i'm gonna share a few editing softwares with y'all that i use and that i personally know are good you have cap cut final cut pro video up video leaf wonder share filmora viva video flow kin or kind master um they also have a pro version to that but check out those editing apps those are really great editing apps don't use no iMovie like I could not believe I bought this ebook and this one youtuber literally said I edit my movies I mean I edit my videos with iMovie and I'm like you straight up lied like that like you straight up lied in this $20 ebook and say you use iMovie to edit these videos look like they've been professionally edited using Final Cut Pro and all that stuff if you've ever used iMovie you know iMovie is very limited like iMovie is like your first couple of videos when you just start out doing YouTube you know just getting familiarized with how to work the stuff but you have over 300k subscribers on YouTube and you telling me that you editing with iMovie I, I don't know I, anybody else that's believing it believe it but I'm not believing that one these are just extra tips that I'm just gonna read off of um, that I have written here be yourself and work the level you're on as a beginner don't go out your way too much to be like other youtubers keep posting on your channel and your channel will slowly grow and that will lead to monetization and you'll be able to do more the next thing I think I said this earlier but you got to spend money to make money so business cards are not cheap like I said you're gonna have to go on Instagram hit up these people hey do you make business cards do you make posters do you make flyers do you make banners all of that good jazz and you're gonna have to pay these people to make your cards and ship them out to you you're gonna have to go to target sometimes probably spend a little 80 dollars to do a little um target hygiene haul or something like that idolize yourself idolize your this one is in all caps idolize yourself and be your own it girl this has been the biggest thing that i've learned like there's so many people that dislike me. There's so many people that's like, oh my God, she she's just she started to grow on YouTube and now she feel like she all that. And it's nothing about being all of that. It's nothing about being better than y'all. Like everything I do is about me. Everything I work for, it's about me. Like it's never about y'all. I'm not in no competition with y'all. I don't care about y'all. I don't see y'all. I'm not running no race with y'all. I'm trying to beat that little girl that never believed in herself at one point always was a yes man always did everything everybody said including family members everything family members told me to do i did because i just always wanted to make people proud of me and now just seeing this new grown version of me i've just stepped out on a limb i just been trusting god i've been doing my own thing despite what people think despite people not liking what i do or what i want to do for a living so yeah just idolize yourself be your own it girl dress up more take more pictures record yourself more just have memories and live a beautiful life like, everything ain't about outdoing nobody everything is not about outdoing y'all who cares i never feel like nobody's trying to outdo me if i see a woman and she dressed real nice and she dressed better than me i'm like girl that's cute like i love that i love that you're just <sighs> i love that for you it's like i know i'm an it girl i know i'm that girl but you're also that girl you're not my girl you're not my it girl but you're your own it girl and i love that for you you're a beautiful girl we're all our own it girls i'm my own it girl you're your own it girl i will always be my own it girl i don't have to be your it girl i don't want to be your it girl i might do things i might mess up and you might judge me like oh well i look up to serena and look at the things that she's doing i don't want to be nobody's it girl because you're not going to judge me and you're not going to make me feel like if everybody look at life in that way, they won't, they won't be any jealousy. They won't be any competition. Like we can all be it girls. Like we're all our own it girl. It's not like, oh, you're shining and I feel dim or you're shining and I need to dim my light. Like, no, you're shining. You're shining as bright as you can shine right now. I love this for you. You look great. You look healthy. You look beautiful. I look great. I look healthy. I look beautiful. You're shining. I'm shining. She's shining. We're all shining and nobody's stepping on each other's toes everybody is shining in their own individual lanes nobody's shining on nobody nobody's covering nobody nobody's shading on nobody everybody's shining in their own way their own light and just growing and having that kind of mentality just makes me realize like I don't see nobody as a competition I don't see nothing as a competition and it's not like oh I don't see no competition because I'm better than you it's like no I don't see no competition because we're not in the same race we're not running the same race we're not in the same lane hell we're not on the same track we're not 
we're all on different tracks different paths and so i'm shining in my lane you're shining your lane you're shining your lane and i love that everybody is shining because they're all shining in their different perspective lanes the next one this is my favorite one because this kind of ties into what i was literally just talking about but act as what you want to be the youtuber that you imagine yourself to be in your head do things that she would do act how she would act walk how she will walk have the confidence that she has and you will eventually notice yourself to evolve into her and that's just that's just how it is like i've just seen so much growth with myself i'm acting as the youtuber i want to be like i'm not yet at 2k but i'm acting like 2k i'm putting in the work like 2k i'm looking like how 2k looks i'm acting how 2k act like that's just what it is another thing is your life isn't boring your challenges or struggles as a person may be a survival guide for somebody else so with that being said don't ever think like oh my god my life is so boring bad things are always happening to me and i know we like to say that especially when bad things do happen because i like to say that i remember when my car was wrecked i'm like bro like bad things are literally always happening to me but I just feel like some people are transparent enough to let people into that side of their life and show that to people. And that helps a lot of people. That helps someone else learn how to be strong, how to face judgment. People going to judge whatever you do. That's just that. If you got a big house, they're going to be like, oh, your house big. But like, why you why you painted that color? That color is ugly. If you don't have nowhere to live, oh, you, you broke, you homeless. People always going to have something to say. Another one don't be scared of your current youtube status we all have to start somewhere when people ask you if you are a youtuber answer yes i am an upcoming youtuber instead of answering no not really but i'm posting videos here and there you don't sound confident in what you're doing literally self-explanatory when people ask you are you a youtuber yes i'm a youtuber i'm an upcoming youtuber um when people used to ask me like oh you a youtuber you do youtube i'd be like mm, not really but i be you know i'm trying I, I be posting a little bit here and there like no that's the wrong answer are you a youtuber yes i'm an upcoming youtuber that's it period you gotta own it you gotta walk in and step into that light and it'll naturally find you it'll come to you you definitely want to sound confident in your plan you definitely want to sound like you are interested in growing on this platform and you definitely see yourself growing on this platform thank you. all the tips i have for you guys with that being said i wish everyone luck on their youtube journey wherever you at i just wish nothing but blessings i hope you see more subscriber bigger numbers all of that good jazz and yeah that's it for me i'm signing out